This is the back side of Elizabeth May Museum in Austin. I believe it's in Hyde Park. I haven't been here in years. You can even see um, a sculpture in the window. <clears throat> Yeah, by the looks of things, it doesn't look like we're like right in the middle of uh, a busy area, right next to 45th in Duval, I believe it is. We're just going to take a little walk here. <clears throat> if you've been following me, this is Giselle Turi. I've just been uh, going to different parks and natural areas and filming. And just encouraging people to spend more time outdoors and being in nature, which I call the real world. You know, being in touch with Mother Nature and all the gifts that she has to offer. The trees and the plants. Yeah. Here we are at the entrance of the Elizabeth May Museum. not even sure it's I guess it's open to the public it's just so overgrown but it has its own beauty I think the last time I was here I was like I don't know, 15 or 16, and me and my best friend, who used to live in this area, used to come here. And uh, a lot of memories of this place. You know, memories are some of the things that make us who we are and who shapes us, just like that, just like that sculpture in the window. Let me see if I can get a better glimpse of that. <clears throat> just like the sculpture you know it sculpts our lives so we can get him yeah you can see him in the window there Things. oops there we go <clears throat> now you can see some of the sculptures in the windows yeah Anyway, um, you know, our past, memories of the past, <clears throat> have a tendency to shape our lives and a lot of experiences. Sometimes people might feel like their past has some memories that aren't very happy memories. You know, we have happy and sad and I think that's just the human experience and and just, uh, I guess the question is, is how do we handle it? Um, you know, as children, you may not be able to reason things out as easily, of course. But as adults, whenever you pull up that wreck from the past, that past memory, we can still choose how we look at it and if we need to <clears throat> reframe it, if you will so that um, we can learn and grow from it. It seems kind of strange because you can have a memory from way back. And if you feel like it's affected you in your more mature life, in your adult life, you still have the option to reframe it and, and change how you perhaps may have perceived it in the past whenever it happened. Um, you know, all memories they don't have to be considered good or bad. They just are for our own spiritual growth and development and expansion. I guess the reason I'm bringing this up, though, is um, especially during these times, I don't 
No, you may or may not feel it. I know I've been extremely sensitive to things and um, well, the energies as such and not just the full moon coming up on the 19th here of November. Today's the 18th. Um, <clears throat> it's, everything's kind of intensified right now. And the way I look at it, it's um, kind of in your face to look at. You know, whether that's memories from the past, that's decisions you've made in the past that you think you could have done something differently or made a different decision or choice, perhaps. And this, there's no judgment here. It just, you know, we do the best we can with what we know in that moment that we've done that, you know, whether it's a choice or decision. And, uh... There again, there's no judgment. It's just, uh, if it's something that, you know, possibly was out of integrity or you wish you would have made a different decision, you know, this isn't about kicking yourself in the butt, beating yourself up and all that stuff. It's like, and I've mentioned this before too, um, is uh, you are the only one who will be with you for the rest of your life. So you've got to be your very own best friend. And if you're going to, beat yourself up because of something you decided to do in the past um, yeah it's not being your very best friend to say the least <clears throat> um, you know being gentle with yourself also if necessary if you you know, you can reframe a situation or perceive it differently from the past, whether that's a memory, a choice, a decision, whatever. Um, and th this is going to sound kind of strange. Maybe not. But since all time is present time, past, future, and present right here, right now, I think in a way we can change the past. Um, I don't know if that goes in quantum physics or, or what it is, um, our uh, jumping timelines. It's all pretty fascinating, and I'm finding out more and more about it. But um, I guess what I'm saying is you have choices. You don't have to allow something from your past to make you suffer. In fact... Yeah, it is a choice. Life is a choice as to how you perceive things, how you look at things, how you choose to uh, let it affect you. <clears throat> now, if there's something that you've done in the past and you don't feel comfortable about, like perhaps if you've hurt someone, <clears throat> intentionally or otherwise, to make amends, however that looks, um, in person or in a letter or even... <clears throat> in silent prayer energetically to you know and forgive yourself if, if that's a necessary um, for the situation that you're looking at you know it, it all goes back to love and understanding and compassion for yourself and for others but there again, looking at the past and how it sculpts your life. First of all, guys, I'm winging this. <laughs> um, this was kind of on a whim to come here. I haven't been here at the Elizabeth Nay Museum for years. It's kind of a strange feeling being here, but um, it's almost like the sculptures. It just made me realize how our past does sculpt our life, whether we look at it an experience from the past is good or not good. It just is, and we have to see what it is we have learned from it, um, how it has shaped our life, whether we want to keep the thought behind how it shaped our life and then if we want to reframe it or exactly what, what we want to do to handle it 
as an adult and as moving forward in a more expansive version of ourself, if you will. So, I'm going to see if I can turn this around. I don't think I can. Hmm, maybe not. Okay. I'll just turn it around this way. All right. So there again, this is Giselle Turi, and I'm just kind of going through memory lane, if you will. And uh, there again at Elizabeth May Museum. It's kind of recalling eh, things from the past and realizing how it does shape our life and then making the choice as an adult if it's still useful or if um, I want to tweak it. Um, and what that looks like for myself and my life moving forward. So, something to think about, to ponder. Uh, there again, no judgment, no beating yourself up. If it's something you made, a memory that comes up that, you know, you wished it were different. You know, it is what it is. Right? Not good or bad, just indifferent. You learn from it. Or you can take something from it and what no longer serves you, you can let it go. And you can love it and let it go. Yeah. So as a vibrant living coach, this is another aspect of self-care and self-love. Um, sometimes there's memories that we prefer not to remember, but that's like shoving it under a rug. If it's if it's bringing a charge to you somehow, and you're 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 getting an emotional hit from it, that's not necessarily a good feeling. It's coming up there again. I said things the way energetically and everything happening. Things are coming up. It's in your face. It's coming up to heal and to let go of, so that it just opens up more expansion in your life and open up, opens more windows for beautiful opportunities and more miracles to blow in. This is a time of healing and it's very accelerated. It's not always easy, but there again, be gentle with yourself, be your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And until next time, Ultraya, move forward with courage and in love. Bye-bye.